Alright, Shalom, my cam. This is just a quick video. I'm going to add into the video that I've already created. And right here, uh, Esau Edom, he made uh, something called the Southern Poverty Law Center. And they pretty much monitor quote unquote hate groups. It says, Fighting hate, we monitor hate groups and other extremists throughout the United States and expose their activities to the public, the media, and law enforcement. So, pretty much, you know, they've taken an initiative to to deem certain groups hate groups or whatnot and i just wanted to bring this out because you know of course they got the men of the lord on this uh this group or website um let me pull up this next tab as you can see i just uh did new york because you know the apostles and the elders a great millstone shalawama to them double honors unto them you know they're pretty much you know it started off in new york and i typed in the state of new york and as you can see some of the quote unquote hate groups. And I'm just get to the nitty gritty. Look, Great Millstone sitting right there. You know, in the house of David, House of Israel, Israel United and and, and Christ, you know. So they pretty much got us deemed as hate groups. And uh, you know, just adding to the video in which I, I made, you know, uh pretty much Esau Edom is gonna come after the men of the Lord. So, Lord with us is edifying. Do a little bit more research. Uh, I'll do a little bit more research myself. And Lord with us is edifying information. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, in whom the world eagerly calls God. And Yahweh Shai is the name of His Son. And whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus. We are the nation of Yahshua Allah, the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the chosen people of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Lord, will this be edifying? I'm your brother Jeremiah. And let me play this clip real quick and then I'll get into the precepts. Just when you thought <clears throat> things couldn't get any more funky, here we go. The CIA and the FBI has a list containing 8 million Americans, over 8 million that are considered threats to society and that if martial law is imposed those specific 8 million people are to be detained and or executed you heard me the United States government is premeditating the possible murder of 8 million Americans and justifying it by saying they believe you are a potential threat. I could be on that list. They already know how they got to come get it in blood with me. I, 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 don't, I ain't scared of you. You come up in my door, talk about you going detained for nothing because pa pa pa. That's where it ended. At. I, I, we, we, there's nothing to talk about. There will be no detainment. If it's my time. Hey, it's been one. Cause two of y'all coming with me for show. The minute I see your pro, for show, sure, boop I'm getting two before I go. But there are eight million of us. They have been watching, stalking, recording, listening to, infiltrating, sending others in to get and gather intel information on us. There's eight million. Let this sink in. Eight million. These FEMA camps are designed specifically for some 8 million people. The non-compliant, the ones that's on social medias, 
The ones who spit in the real truth. They're going to try to change the narrative and call them the troublemakers and conspiracy theorists because their plans are being exposed. Some of us right here are going to be seeing this. You don't even know your name is on that list. Get prepared. All hell is about to break loose. Couldn't agree more. All hell is about to break loose. But, you know, two things that you can pull from that, you know, I'm trying to uh, touch bases on the two topics that um, that I pull from that is, uh, you know, number one being that uh, Jake think that he's going to take up arms against the enemy. The wicked Esau Edom uh, is just outright crazy. You know, the so-called white man, which is the wicked Esau Edom, his blessing is the sword. And I'll touch bases on that later on. But secondly, um, going into how they have 8 million people on the list in which they're going to come after. And you already know on the top of their list is they're going to come after the prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. So uh, <clears throat> let me get this. First Peter's 4 and 17, it says, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. For if it begin at us, what shall the end be of them? That obey not the gospel of the Most High. So best believe they're going to come after the prophets of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because we're, we're exposing the truth. Uh, the true plans of the wicked, the devil that the Bible speaks of. The so-called white man. We're exposing Esau's plans more than anybody else in this world. All right, Starting with the apostles and the elders on down. And, and their apostles and their elders before us. Okay, So... Uh, they're definitely going to come after the men of the Lord uh, to read on verse 16, uh, uh, Salakia, verse 18, Salakia. It says, if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High uh, commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. All right. So. It, it was mentioned that the righteous are going to scarcely be saved. You know, the enemy is going to come in like a flood as uh, pertaining to Isaiah 59. And Lord will, I get that, Isaiah 59 and 19. And uh, um, another thing in address, uh, where shall the ungodly uh, appear? You know, where shall the ungodly, uh, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Um, and the two thirds, you know, th we know that they're going to catch the judgment of Yahweh Shem Yahushua full force for being disobedient children. Uh, and another thing it says, um, Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High commit uh, the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. And we know that the words of Yahweh Shem Yahushua is faithful and true. And it's written that the Lord is going to save his elect. All right, so uh, let me get another precept uh, <clears throat> going into this topic. Uh, first, let me address that Jake, you know, he, he said he's going to take up arms against Esau, the wicked. But in 1 Corinthians 2 and 10, uh, Salakia, 2 Corinthians 10 and 3, Salakia. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. All right, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the the most high to the pulling down of strongholds all right so we're not going to fight esau carnally we're not going to take up arms we're not going to create a group uh with uh m16s this that and the third we, we're just going to uh rely on the spirit and the power of yahabai shim shy to deliver us in this time because esau's blessing is a sword as i mentioned and you can go back to the book of genesis the uh, 27th chapter to get that understanding that Esau was blessed with the sword. And all throughout history, he has shown that he lives by the sword, okay? And that's what Isaac told him, you know, by the sword shall thou live. And he definitely is living by that sword. And, and, and another precept uh, that comes to mind, Salaki, my mind is just racing at a thousand paces. But, uh, you know, another precept that comes to mind is that he bears not the sword in vain, okay? So Esau is definitely going to use that sword uh, however way he see fits, all right, within the jur jurisdiction of um, 
the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, of course. Um, but let me go ahead and get my next precept. Um, before I get that, actually, I I want to uh pull a precept real quick, real real quick. Ephesians the sixth chapter, because it said we wrestle not uh at the flesh and blood within this precept. Uh, Ephesians six and twelve it says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right. So the elite, the wicked elite, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of, they're dealing on the left hand side of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And this is more so a spiritual battle more than it is a carnal battle. OK, remember when um, Elisha. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, Elisha in the book of uh, 2 Kings, the 6th chapter, and the servant uh, saw the army of, uh, I believe, Syria compassed about them. Uh, you know, Elisha prayed to Yahweh Shem Yahushai to open the young man's eyes that he may see the, the heavenly host that was protecting them. And, uh, you know, that's the famous precept or, or you know, the beautiful uh, precept. Uh, which uh, Alicia said, there'd be more that be with us than that be with them, okay? We have more protection than we know, okay? And also Psalms 34 and 7, it says, uh, The angel of Yahweh Shem Yahushai encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them, all right? So we have that protection of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, and that's why we must uh, uh, commit to Yahweh Shem Yahushai, to the keeping of our souls in him, in well-doing, Salakia, as unto a faithful creator, because his words is faithful and true that he will deliver us, okay? So, uh, let me give my next precept. Jeremiah 30 and 7 in the NLT. In all history, there has never been such a time of terror. It will be a time of trouble for my people Israel, yet in the end, they will be saved, all right? And uh, Lord will, I put it at the end of this clip. Or the end of this video, um, a, a clip of the Forever Purge scene where it was going into, they had these trucks called the Purification Trucks. And pretty much, you know, it was a, a group that came that came and band together, you know, of course, Edomites, are trying to cleanse America from the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And we just read as a time of trouble, the time of Jacob's trouble is a time of trouble and terror. For the Israelites, okay, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, but sticking to the point within that clip or that scene, uh, there was a purification truck rolling around, and it had Jake in the back of that truck, and it was killing Jake. Okay, that's what they mean within that movie as far as cleansing America. They want to get rid of you, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So the time of Jacob's trouble is not going to be pretty, and we need Yahweh by Shem Yahushai to protect us in that time. So now is that grace period to get right with the Lord. Uh, Ecclesiastes 5 and 7, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. But for uh, suddenly shall the wrath uh, of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. And Lord will, I said that correctly. Okay, just roughly paraphrasing it. But um, let me get my last precept here on deck. Uh, Second Edris uh, 16 and 71. They shall be like mad men, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So Esau is talking about Esau. They're going to be like mad men uh, coming after uh, the men of the Lord. OK, it says for they and it's going to come upon all the world. But their main target is to come after the prophets of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Because uh, uh, the elect is all that matters. That's that's who the Lord is coming back to redeem. Um but verse 72, it says, For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide, and the guide of them that who keep my commandments and precepts Saith the Lord, power, let not your sins weigh you down. Let not, let not 
your iniquities lift up themselves. So the Lord is going to deliver his elect. And that's a guarantee. All right. That's a guaranteed ticket that Yahweh Shemel Shai is going to deliver his elect. You know why? Because it's written. All right. We just read it. All right. So, uh, yeah, pretty much that's all I got on the topic. You know, we're not going to bear up arms against uh, the wicked Esau Edom, whose blessing is the sword. But we are going to have to trust in Yahweh Shemel Shai to deliver us out of this time. The Lord will, this is edifying to the elect of the nation of Yasha Allah, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Shalom. He's inbound. Do not try to hide. We are the real patriots of America. It is our job to keep this land free and clean. We will no longer tolerate foreigners raping and pillaging the United States of America. We will find you and disinfect you. America will be American once again. Those guys are fucking insane. The purification of America has begun. What the fuck are they doing? Shot. Don't. You'll start a war and put all your people in jeopardy. We will not stop until our great nation has been fully cleansed. We will no longer tolerate foreigners raping and pillaging the United States of America. Do not. Do not. We will fight you and disinfect you.